Welcome to the Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon series. I am your host, Captain Matt, and today we're talking about what your boat salesman won't tell you about new boats. There's a lot of things that are, are different than what you may expect, and I'm going to kind of give you a peek behind the curtain, and it may be things that that um, your salesperson just won't tell you about. As you know, we're here to make sure that you make the best decision. You know exactly what's going on. Um, so here's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the real story on new boats. We're going to talk about issues with transport, dealer responsibility. Where where do they fall in in the relationship and how it differs from maybe a car dealership. We're going to talk about common boat, motor, and trailer issues, the first 20 hours, and then your responsibility. As a new boat owner, some of it falls on you, which you may not be aware of. I'm going to tell you what that is so you know exactly what's going on. As always, we're brought to you by the Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon Toolkit. You can grab your free copy at boatbuyerssecretweapon.com slash toolkit. Uh, it's got, we've just updated it for 2021. We've got checklist questions to ask. There's a boat ownership calculator, how to maximize your trade, boat loans, boat insurance information, and much more. Uh, and that is free for you. We've also added two special videos um, that you can only find with the toolkit. So be sure to pick that up. So the first thing that you may not know about how boats are made is it's a very manual process. You can see these guys are getting the molds ready. Uh, to put down the first layer of fiberglass. So that is a very manual process. There's only a handful of manufacturers that use a robot to spray some of it, but there is still a human component where you're getting in there and you're rolling out any air bubbles. And it's a very, very manual labor intensive process. Now, the good news is a majority of of boat builders are building their boats 100% in the U.S. That um, That is great for our economy. It is a very manual process, though. As you can see, once they get that fiberglass laid, they pop those out of the mold, and they'll actually run down the assembly line uh, in two lines. So they run down the top half is, is laying next to the hull, um, and they're going to put all of the components in. So put all of the wiring, attach all of the mounting plates where they're going to mount pieces that, uh, you know, maybe where the, where the cleat's going to be or, or where there's going to be a, a, a attachment to the swim platform, whatever it is. And then once that's all together, then they're going to marry that top half in the hole. There may be a, an insert piece. Each dealer or each manufacturer does it a little bit different. The way they affix it may be different. They may do a foam shot in the middle and, and use that. They may, there, there's a lot of different variables, but the key point is it's all done by hand. There are people that are in the boats that are laying the wiring, laying the cabling, uh, affixing things, and everything is done very, very manually. What that means is that sometimes mistakes can be made. It is virtually impossible for a manufacturer to deliver a boat at the end of the at the end of the line to be one hundred percent spot on, no errors, no mistakes, nothing nothing in the boat that shouldn't be in there, like a, a loose nut or a loose bolt rolling around or, or some shavings. That's why having an inspection process is very important. At the end of the production line, there's an inspection process where somebody goes through the boat and tests everything. There may be steps throughout the build process because once you marry that top half and bottom half, and once you put that boat together, there's going to be things you can't see. So most manufacturers are going to have that inspection process throughout. A handful of manufacturers will put their boat in a test tank uh, and they may fire it up. They may not, but they they may put it in a test tank and test some of it. Some will even run it through a shower process on a cruiser. Sea uh, Ray used to do that uh, on their on their yachts and sport yachts. The that inspection process is what really separates the great manufacturers from the good manufacturers from the the poor manufacturers as they they catch more of their mistakes so once that boat goes on the trailer one 
for most sport boats, bow riders, deck boats that are under 26 feet or so, most of those have never actually been run on the open water. Many of them have not even been tested and hit any water at all. So that, that falls into what we'll talk about here in just a little bit. So once the boat has gone through the inspection process, they may or may not match it on a trailer. Some boats will match from the factory with the trailer. Others will just be shipped with the boat. If they're on a marina, they don't need a trailer or the dealer decides to buy their trailer from a separate source. But look at how they stack these boats up. It's, it's important to know that the boat's not 100% put together at this point. You can see the bimini top is missing. They may have some interior components that are just wrapped up and set inside the boat. The canvas cover is wrapped up and tucked inside the boat, and they're going to load these up. Once they load them up, there is, they do a pretty good job of wrapping them. But if you look, they're going down the interstate, you know, maybe thousands of miles shipped from, you know, Sea Ray built in, in Tennessee and, and shipped all over the country. There's chances for some nicks and dings to happen on the way uh, from the factory to the dealer. Once they get to a dealer, there is another big step that comes as they have to unload all those boats. If you look, it's not just as simple as backing them off a car ramp like you would on a car transport. There's actually equipment involved, whether it's a crane that they have to to rent on some of the some of the manuf- or some of the the dealers will need to rent a crane depending on on what their situation is. Most of them will have some type of a lift uh, where they can put it under the hoist and they can use that hoist to lift them off one by one. If you've ordered a new boat and you're there the day it comes off the truck, you're going to probably pucker your butt a little bit because it's very nerve wracking the way they have to kind of maneuver them and get them on and off those trailers. And things can happen there. I've seen windshields break, uh, scratches and dings put in the put in the fiberglass. Uh, things happen that that can be bad. So it's important once that boat gets to your dealer that the dealer has a responsibility to inspect that boat as well before they deliver it. You can see when it comes off the truck, it's going to be. 90, 95% complete, but they still have to put the bimini top on. Um, because it's never been run, they probably have to put oil and gear lube in, put a battery in, uh, connect everything, maybe put some of the interior together, put the snap-in carpet or the flooring down. Uh, there, there's a, a number of things that they may have to do. The better dealers are going to go through that entire boat and do another inspection process and look for all of those hand built things and confirm that they were done right. So they're going to, they're not going to take that boat off the truck and they're going to put it into service. And that service department is going to what they call pre rig or rig the boat, depending on what exactly they have to do with it. Now, when they're rigging that boat, they're looking for everything and they're, they're, fixing everything that needs to be fixed, addressing any issues, including maybe patching the gel coat, putting the bimini on, uh, and getting everything together. Um, that's a very key part. So it's not like a car where it just comes off the truck and it's ready for the showroom floor. Just throw some, throw some gas in it and go. Um, there, there's a lot more to it. So if you've ordered a boat, you want to make sure that your dealer does a great job of inspecting and goes through that boat and uh, gets everything together properly before you just jump on the road. Same thing with the trailer is if the trailer doesn't come from the factory, uh, from the, the boat factory, then they may have to make some adjustments to the bunks, to the winch stand, to the rollers, uh, adjust even the axles to make sure that it's it's sitting level on the trailer. These are all things that good dealers will do. Uh, and, and some dealers, if you're you know if you've got a dealer that's not on top of the game, it may be your responsibility to check this stuff out before you drive off the lot. Even in a brand new boat, even in a new boat that you've just ordered, uh, these are some things that that may have to be done, and, and some will always have to be done. Same thing with the engine. Like I said, many sport boats, deck boats, um, the engine is going to have to be, they're going to have to put the oil in, put the gear lube in in some cases, definitely put the battery in, put fuel in, and it could be the first time this boat has ever been cranked up. So again, the good dealers are going to put that boat on the water and they're going to do a quick shakedown run 
where they're going to run it, make sure all the gauges are right, make sure the RPMs are right, making sure it's propped right. Although most of the, you know, the, the stern drives will come with the props on it. Most of the outboards, uh, the bigger ones are going to have their own prop on it and make sure that everything is to the specs that it needs to be and then come back and check and make sure there's no leaks, tighten everything up that needs to be tightened up. And now it's ready for delivery. So when you take delivery of your new boat, it's not just time to go and send it and take that thing out and just haul an ass down the water. There's actually some responsibility for you as well. And that big responsibility is the engine break-in period. The each, engine manufacturer is going to have their own break-in period and it can be up to 20 hours. So that means going out and following your particular engine manufacturer's break-in period where typically you're not doing a lot of wide open throttle. You're adjusting through that throttle range every couple of three, four, five, ten 10 minutes, depending on what they recommend. And you're hitting the RPM limits that they say no more than three quarters throttle um, and full throttle approximately one minute every 10 minutes. So what that's doing is that's letting all the oil um, go through the engine, kind of seeding everything so that you have a long lifetime of good operation. What's interesting is most malfunctions with engines are going to come within the first 20 hours or so. So if you're buying a brand new boat and you're wanting to day one, take it out for a big, long trip, I'm going to recommend you slow it down a little bit and you run that boat. You do the break in period before you go on a big voyage. Um, and again, follow your manufacturer's recommendation. And then your other responsibility is inspect everything on your boat before signing the paperwork, before leaving the dealership. And if there's things that need to be addressed, make sure you get the commitments to repair them in writing just to be safe. So there's two ways as I look at this is one is there's a, a few little things that um, need to be addressed, but they're not a big deal. And I'm going to sign, I'm going to pay for the boat and I'm going to, I'm going to get the dealer to commit that they're going to fix it next week. There's other things where I'm just not satisfied. And I'm going to say, this needs to be fixed before I sign. And before I take delivery of this boat, because what can happen is once that dealer takes payment for the boat and they're busy moving on to their next their next um, deliveries, their next work in the service shop. And now you drop the boat off and it's three weeks, it's four weeks, it's five weeks before they can get it addressed. And now you have this brand new boat that's paid for and it's just sitting there. Now I will say, I know a whole bunch of boat dealers all around the country in Canada, uh, overseas, most of them are very good. Most of them are going to take care of their customers and do what it takes to make you happy. But there are times, there are some dealers where things just don't go the way you want. Maybe they can't get the part. Like right now during COVID, there's times where it's a little thing, but the part they need to address it isn't there because everything shut down for a period of time and it can, can cause problems. So just get that commitment, be safe, and do your inspection on the boat. And if you don't know what you're looking for, if you're a first-time boater, go through some of the other videos in this um, on this channel, Boat Buyer Secret Weapon, and I'll show you what to look for, how to walk through things, um, how to test drive it so that you're not just, um, oh, it looks great, here's the check, let's sign the paperwork and go. You actually take that boat and you run it on the water first to make sure that you're ready uh, before you make the payment and get that in writing. So I would love to hear from anybody that's bought a new boat. Um, and if there's any horror stories or any recommendations that you have, I would love to have you leave those in the comments. I've seen them all over Facebook. People that have, have bought a brand new boat. They expected everything to be perfect. They were getting ready to head out on their family vacation on day one. And there was something wrong with the boat. Uh, and it, it just ruined it ruined their starting to the boating lifestyle, which should have been one of their most exciting days, uh, turned into a nightmare for them. And I want you to avoid that. So um, YouTube has recommended a few other videos. Subscribe, get all of our videos. We've got the podcast going. Uh, those episodes are showing up here. You'll get notified for them. Grab your toolkit at BoatBuyerSecretWeapon.com slash toolkit. We've got the best way to make sure you get the best price on your newer used boat. Um, you can check that out as well. And 
be sure to like this video, leave a comment, leave a comment if you've had a, a nightmare issue or a great experience. Let us know who you really enjoyed working with, who you've had a bad experience with, and any recommendations you would have as well. Thank you, and we'll talk to you next time.